given what you did last year, is it easier to have a, a stronger voice with this football team now? Um, last year was last year, and I'm just going to be the same me. But um, you know, we were able to have an undefeated season, which was great, and obviously gained some confidence from that. But it didn't end the way that we wanted it. So um, this whole it's just a whole new year, and we, we flipped the page. And um, I went. It, it's a little bit easier, I guess, to lead. You know, years go on, you get older and whatnot. But um, still, something I push myself uh, to do: just uh, being vocal, especially for the young guys. To know that they have someone that uh, they can trust and lean on, ask me whatever they need, and uh, just know I'm out there having fun, talking, and you know, really just enjoying it. Ian, uh, what, coach said something yesterday about there are areas where you need to make improvement. Uh, what are the? What are they? And where do you think you're? You are in, those, mm -hmm. in that um, I think personally, uh, leadership, like we just talked about, something I want to get better at. And then um, just taking that next step and really testing myself with the reads and totally understanding what's going on uh, with the defense and just, you know, pre snap, pro snap, all that. Just want to take the next step, uh, be able to challenge myself uh, that way. How did it feel just to be out on the field practicing again, playing football for the first time since the Cotton Bowl? Yeah, uh, it felt awesome. You know, it's um, you know, time moves fast, and you know, I'm, we the Cotton Bowl feels like it wasn't even that long ago, and we're already back out here, and um, you know, just be able to run around with the guys out there and compete at a high level. That's what we came here to do. How different has this off season been with you being the clear cut guy, the starter, and everything, versus last off season when you were kind of in a, in a quarterback battle and trying to prove yourself? Uh, I still treat it the same. I still got to go out there every day and prove myself. Um, you know, Phil's great. We got good, great quarterbacks in general in our whole entire quarterback room. So, um, I'm definitely not going to take anything like. Got to go out there, like I told all of you last year, prepare every day. Like I, I'm the starter. Well, that's what I still got to keep doing. And um, there's a lot of goals and a lot of areas in my game that I want to improve. So, I'm working on it, working on that every day. Yeah, and, uh, yesterday, Brian Kelly said that not a lot of people know, you know, just how tough Jafar Armstrong is. In what instances have you kind of seen, you know, that toughness and that Jafar has. Do you think he's one of the toughest on the team? I do. Uh, dude's kind of crazy a little bit. Uh, he, <laughs> before games, he's he's in his own zone. And we always call it, we all joke about it. Jafar's just um, he really just loves the game. Has wants to go out there, have fun, and totally dominate his opponent. And I mean, what else can you ask for in a running back, and even someone you can put out um, into the slot? So that's just that's just his attitude. That's how he comes every day to play football. And. Uh, um, he's just tough, and you know you love to see it. And someone that's going to work that hard for you makes you know makes it even better.